Hi, my name is Kevin Matthews and I'm with Advanced Orthopedic Designs in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I'd like to talk to you briefly about uh, uh, idiopathic toe walking and how we treat it as orthodists. Uh, more often than not, if, if a child is diagnosed with idiopathic toe walking, idiopathic meaning of unknown cause, uh, basically some kids just walk on their toes, that feels natural to them. And it's important that we get them into a heel-toe gait pattern. And typically, if it doesn't resolve by four or five years old, uh, physicians uh, will recommend bracing. And normally what we do is we put them in an AFO with a hinge that will allow them to flex, but it's got a little bumper in the back that won't allow the toe to go down so they can't get on their toes, okay? And it's a very effective treatment. It works. It's just a lot of brace to wear. With idiopathic toe walking, these kids typically don't have tone and are able to walk on their heels or heel walk. And uh, so they, they don't need anything major to correct them. Uh, very, a mild intervention works very well. And what I've been having remarkable success with is simply a little SMO with a little plantar flexion stop on the back. It's a little bumper that when the child wants to get up on their toes, this digs into the back of their calf so they don't do it. And I have had remarkable success. I've made at least 100 pairs of these, and uh, they have worked very well. I think one pair I ended up making a pair of hinged AFOs because they said the child could still get on their toes, but the child was compensating big time to do it. But I just said, okay, fine, and I made a pair of hinged AFOs. But I just wanted to let folks know that if you'd like to try it, it's very effective. And I've got a little video clip of the child that I just fit today with a pair of these. Uh, that shows him walking in them. And the, you get a good heel strike, very effective, and it's a tool that, that would work well for you. Uh, if you're an orthodist, give it a try. I think you'll find that it works well. Just make them at 90 degrees with that little bumper. When they try to get on their toes, that digs in the calf so they don't do it. Uh, if you're a patient, then you might ask your orthodist if they'll make this. It's, uh, it's very simple to make. It's even easier to make than one of these. Uh, it doesn't pay quite as much, but uh, less materials, quicker to make, and very effective. Again, consider using an SMO with a plantar flexion stop for your idiopathic toe walking. Uh, Good job. Thanks. Y'all have a great day. Oh yeah, as soon as we're done here. Okay, now let's turn around and walk this.